Well guys, it stopped raining. I got back out here. Uh, it's uh, That's not water on the hood. Uh, so it's uh, it's almost done. Uh, it's, uh, it's got a nice shine to it. I've been using uh, this, uh, it's a super duty rubbing compound. Uh, I read the instructions on it. It's you know, really intended to kind of like help with oxidization on paint and stuff, but you know, and, and, and these swirls, once again, it's that light. Uh, so don't, but, uh, I gotta admit, uh, <laughs> when we put this on here this morning, uh, I was a little concerned. I knew the paint was going to match and I'm going to back up so you guys can hopefully it'll focus. There he goes. I knew the paint was going to match. Um, but I wasn't quite sure I could, uh, get it to, uh, shine and then, uh, you know it's uh it's looking pretty darn good in my opinion so not too shabby uh i think the probably would have been a little cheaper had it done a paint gun now what i've done is i've kept all my receipts so in the end uh uh you, you know you're gonna i'll uh i'll tell you exactly how much this uh, this cost to accomplish and I, I think you can get away with uh spray you know uh automotive spray paint in a can if you uh if you're doing small pieces kind of like what they were saying on youtube but just the cost alone to do this on a large scale like a hood here uh is a, is a healthy chunk of cash and it's it's not that it's any less expensive or any more expensive to do this with a uh, uh a paint gun but uh it just depends on how much time you got and how much time you want to spend on it uh, uh we're looking at today's friday i started this project last saturday uh you know, and it's, it's, it went eight hours on Saturday, eight, nine hours on Saturday, and then about three, four hours on Monday, you know, and then an hour here, an hour there throughout the week. Yeah, this stuff can add up, you know, and reality is it probably could accomplish the same amount of, same result, uh, probably a better result uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the gun. And uh, it's having, a, phone's having a hard time focusing at the moment. But I probably could have accomplished the same results, uh, if not better, uh, with the gun had uh, in about a fraction of the time, just because of the amount of coverage you get with the gun. So uh, we're going to do some more polishing. Uh, I'm going to clean up the sides a little bit. Uh, but all in all, I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. So there you go. Okay, so it's... Uh... It's been about three days since I uh, put the hood on and we did everything to it. And uh, from here, it looks great. Um, but uh, I can see flaws in it. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that I used aerosol cans to paint it. Uh, I've said in earlier that, uh, you know, using them to do a touch-up job is fine. Using them to... Uh, to paint an entire hood or a large area is kind of probably not a good idea you can't really see it easily uh with the camera but i'm going to try uh here's where i'm going to have to come back and probably do some re repainting uh, you can definitely see where uh, the paint was um, applied a little bit thicker than in areas and other areas where it wasn't so it creates these kind of like uh splotchy spots and uh so ultimately, uh, my recommendation is to do exactly what they tell you to do. Um, I'm going to invest in a uh, a gun, a spray gun, and I've got a compressor, and I'm going to get uh, all the supplies that I need. Uh, we're going to respray this uh, in time, but right now, for the sake of this, uh, my kid loves it. Uh, he's grateful that his hood's one color, and it's it's the same color as the rest of the truck. All in all, I've had a lot of positive feedback on it but uh for the cost it's uh if uh if we're just touching up a spot that's uh, great for the aerosols they work great i learned a lot doing this um and uh probably the most satisfying part is that it doesn't look bad it looks pretty decent and uh it shines really well and those are areas where i wasn't sure i was going to be able to do that so uh you know if you have questions on how to do it and what to do and what not to do hopefully uh you know at least these uh these short videos were informative if anything if not uh you know if you don't want to spend a bunch of money you can do this it just takes a lot of time so that's it